Night on the bench, Kisumu County woman rep Rosa Akinyi Buyu mm. looking at Waboyi. Oh. Yeah, I've heard it today, Waboyi. I think that's fake. Yeah. Can't that I'm member of Parliament, Alice Wab you Mothani. this is fake. Mothani. Mothani. Yeah. Yes, right. You can call her Tieno Radiambo. Oh. Yeah, Alice Adiambo. Ah. You know? Mothani. Yeah. But you're complaining that uh, there's water over there, nobody's offering you. Yeah, you know, I just looked at that water. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> it's because of COVID. No, I'm so thirsty yeah. and it can't be offered to me. And you know what I likened it to? The first five years time of Jubilee, where two regions were actually eating and the rest of the 40 regions were watching them All right. and measuring I'll, I'll get you the water. I'll Give get me you some the water. water. Now what you're doing uh, is what handshake. Also water? This what is for all of us. What you're doing yes. is what Handshake and BBI hopes to do. Th these are both fresh yes, bottles. Yes, give water to everybody. <laughs> give water to more regions oh so God. that more regions, Thank every goodness, region there's can no partake. Label. There's no label. Thank you. Karibu sana. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jess. So now all Kenyans are partaking. What? Not watching two people Not eating. watching from far. Ah. So now, speaking of uh, partaking, yes. are you going to partake in the vote for the BBI in the next uh, few days? Not after just, the, yes, I'm definitely going to vote a yes for BBI. And even after that vote, I'm going to be on the forefront of campaign to ensure that the BBI actually passes, and not just pass, but pass overwhelmingly with the Kenyans. Moshimura, you said uh, from the beginning, you have said I've you never, haven't been... I've never supported BBI because the first beginning of this BBI was two people, His Excellency the President and her boss. We waited for it to be unbundled or to be at least released to the people. It took maybe two years. The next minute we saw the reggae. The reggae comes, some people can dance, others cannot dance. The police are released on some teams when we go to campaign. Eventually we decided to then join and see whether the police will also come to the combined team. So when we go to combined team, there is no police. When we go to, to separate teams, because you know, you, you, you don't have to share a platform, political platform, then the police are released. Kakamega, remember? You saw the other day in, uh, in uh, Nakuru when we were doing the, <laughs> the small by-elections. These guys have gone nuts. And, and I'm very serious. So therefore, personally, I was looking for a situation where if we are going to affect the 2010 constitution, then we better do it correctly. And, one of, and the president and the, the right owner, Buraira Udinga, cannot pretend to be a, a popular initiative. Popular initiative connotes people, the majority of Kenyans, civil societies, ordinary Wanjiku, other groups, the faith-based. Okay, fine. How does an executive convert itself to a popular initiative? Well, even though it passed in 44 out of 47 counties? And Jeff, uh, you know they were given Kenya shillings 2 million per MC. Jeff, can I say this? Oh. Remember? Yesterday in the two ruling million. of the speaker in the House, mm. The speaker categorically said, Kenya is made of Kenyans. One is not born executive, you journalist, we are all Kenyans. And when the constitution talks about popular initiative, any Kenyan, whether it's a lawyer, whether it's a trader, whether it's a teacher, whether, so long as you are Kenyan, you are free. And you are free to be considered as, a, as part of that popular initiative, meaning it doesn't have to be a small trader or a normal Kenyan coming up to, to say that they want to, to, to initiate the process. It does, now that it's Raila, like she's saying, Honorable Raila and Mweshimiwa Uhuru, like she's saying, even if they initiated the process, they are still Kenyans and the constitution allows them to actually initiate that process. But not but everyone, what, go on, not everyone has to agree, right? I mean, and not everyone has to yeah. agree. And right. what I'd like to say is this, what just is puzzling to me is we are discussing a constitution. The main debate or the main discussion as to whether you support it or not should focus on the content of the constitution. What is this constitution offering Kenyans? But Alice and her newly found party called UDA they are ignoring the contents of the constitution. And you heard her clearly say, I'm going to vote no because Honorable Uhuru and Raila are executives. The manner in which it was brought 
Why was it selective? So now we are moving away from discussing the constitution or the post, uh, proposed amendments. We are now discussing the timing, because you'll hear her talking about timing soon, she'll talk about corona. We are discussing about the economies, but you will hear her talking about of corona course, has of brought course. a lot of poverty and whatever, yes. and that is true. Mm. It's a priority. That is true. But when do we begin to discuss the content? Because the content of the constitution is supposed to help Kenya govern itself better in a more inclusive manner. At what point will Alice and her partners discuss the content? You know? Very okay. good. Let me ask the, you proce this. the process through which you use to come up with the content is as important as the content. And therefore, if you have a haphazard process, the product may also be your product, not my product. And you know, if you are talking about content, you must also question whose content it is. Kenyans are supposed to contribute to this. Kenyans are supposed to be the owners and the consumers of the constitution. So she wants me now to forget how it was started, how it was processed, and then go to content. But you know, million Kenyans if, have you know, I do, that I do not think it is right and to assume that Kenyans will now come on board at the tail end. It is wrong because that's not how you make a constitution. Secondly, and most important, is that they could have come up with the idea. But once you come up with the idea, then and you know, propose to the legislature, to parliament, a legal framework through which the process will be undertaken. And thereafter, you'll be able also to draw money legally, taxpayers' money legally. There has been no legal framework. And that's why you see that even the time frames, there are no benchmarks. There is no, you know, no set way of public uh, awareness, civic education. All these things were being designed behind the boardroom, in Gong, Kajiando, or I think uh, also maybe Bondo at one stage, and maybe Even, where uh, else, Karen. So what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Jeff, this would have possibly been cured. The idea could have been cured if the two then talked to National Assembly through a registrative proposal, then fit in everything that needed to be done, step by step. We have done a constitution so we have very good history and very record of how you process it so that you can engage and involve everybody properly this didn't happen like that because this bbi by the way and you have heard them speak was not supposed to be for everybody it was supposed to now catapult some people into a coalition for 2022 jeff I it don't... was also supposed to open up the space for Removal of term, term limits. Jeff, I don't want Those to. Were the I, two I don't. Things Jeff, I don't want to go into. To, but the some details. Of, some things have failed. I don't want to go into the details of what my friend is saying, but all I'll say is, it's an insult to the intelligence of Kenyans. Four million Kenyans appended their signatures to say yes, when the constitution only requires a million signatures. And in the next process, how many county assemblies said yes? Were they 43 out of 47? When the requirement really was just 24. So when you tell us which Kenyans are these you're talking about, are those 4 million not Kenyans? Are these 43 uh, county assemblies that are actually representatives of the Kenyans in the counties? And those Kenyans, which Kenyans are these you're talking about? So I don't want to pursue that line. So there are certain Kenyans that should be the owners of the constitution, not certain. and other Kenyans should not be owners of the constitution. Look what you're saying, that the four million are not Kenyans. What about those I'm others? You, what I'm about those others who are saying no, and that we needed to engage each other? We still give in them a an better, opportunity to say in no a in the referendum. Which, which yeah, opportunity? We still have that opportunity. No, you, by, don't, by, you don't think there'll be an opportunity? By the time you reach the referendum, you have have to factor this damn thing through a legal framework. And I will not move from there. Mm. Because we have done a constitution before. We did not just go to dance. We Unless were, you talk about we, public we participation. We had party, public participation how do you, more than two years. How do you do public participation without any legal framework to tell Kenyans who will come, At that time how that you will come? Hold on. Was opened. Hold on. You brought... Alice Wahome as a legislator had the opportunity brought, to say you brought legal framework the, is missing here. Why don't you do that? But we have said that before. Who are no, we? 
Alice, did you make a presentation to the task force? Alice, what you as Alice, did you? How did the task force come? Whose task force was So did you stand it? up at that particular time and make a representation and say, task force, you are wrong at that particular time? Why wait two years? You know, Why you know, wait when the thing has processed to this far to bring yeah. up these points? If you look at your record or, or, or refresh your memory, Rosa, I have always when I have been given an opportunity to talk about BBI, Not in I have, I have talk. said before mm. that you cannot talk about even a task force. The manner in which the task force was also put is questionable. It has been raised. The questions have been raised. How were they selected? Was it competitive? If you look at the way we had a committee of experts before, it was a committee of expert, uh, experts factored in within the law. This committee that she's talking about, you don't know who actually picked them. It, it seems oh, a lot of... Lot of were, uh, 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 if Raira proposed on. some four names... And Ruto and, proposed how many? And Ruto proposed mm -hmm. four and names. And the president proposed the president proposed. Who are they? Why should they? Why should they not do it within a legal framework? Well, more, okay. You B see, you, you, are, you understand? I, I do, yeah, and, and I'm asking that. I'm not, I'm, not, not, I'm not asking in because of spite. I'm saying, I know it is the president and the prime minister, but in terms and of... The Deputy Prime in Minister terms, and the Deputy in, President. In, in terms of making the Constitution, you have to ensure that if they are the ones you want uh, them to pick these people, then write it in the, Jeff in the law. Well, hold on, before put you it, answer. Put it in law. I, I think, Moishima, yeah. what you're feeling, I mean, there's a lot of, um, it's, it's, it, you said it's not spite, yeah. but you just feel left out of the equation. That's what it is. You feel no, not, uh, you're outside the tent. No, yes. Not as an individual. You my uh, I, tent. You know, if you <laughs> listen to the whole country, yeah. you will find that there are those who feel this constitution is theirs. And there's another big number of people that feel they were left out or they were not involved or that the process was, you know, was cramped up so that it can benefit And you don't think a referendum individual. will help? You don't think a referendum, take it to the people, let them yes, decide? Yes, so I, I think, you know, you have to engage Kenyans properly before you reach the referendum. It may reach there, Jeff, and I'm not saying it may not. I'm saying it is likely to reach to the referendum. But by the time it reaches the referendum, Kenyans should have these books everywhere, like we had last time, would have read these books, would have had civic education and voter education. We would have registered voters. We are being told that we shall go to referendum in July. By July. By July. Do you know when we last did mass registration? The last general election. So are we going to use the general elections, the 2017 voter register, or which voter register. Why should some Kenyans not be able to say yes or no to this constitution? Because Jeff, they haven't been registered. Okay. Can I say you know? Yes, you can. And um, of course I think the difference that. between my friend and I yeah. is um, if I have a contribution to make or if I have a complaint to make, I go to the set committee or the officially legally set committee to go and make that contribution because then it helps. But if I wait like they do, to go into rallies or to go outside into like a, a, a media platform without making presentations where it matters, then what you're doing is really not effective. And that is why I'm asking, Honorable Wahome, you seem to have a lot of information and a lot of reservation on BBI. Did you? go and make any presentation on what you're feeling for. I did not recognize. Did you make note? I did, did not your party recognize. UTA Listen, go to make to say that? Loza, may I remind you, I'm a Jubilee member of parliament. And let us, let us, uh, let us not uh, uh, try to... I just to, got confused then no, because I thought you, you I'm, became I'm Tanga, Jubilee, Tanga You know, you understand the law. I'm a Jubilee member of parliament. At the right time, you can be sure I'll be taking a party of my choice. And, it, and, 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 and that will not be determined Alice, by you, Rosa. Yeah, and Alice, so when you try to, to call me at Uda, member of parliament, no, and Alice, I, I, don't I, don't, I don't think that is right. I don't want to deny that the, the right time, but I'm saying the right time. Any time is right. Because mm. all and, and, has and, to do, and maybe if you do not believe in the policies of a party, Uda, is to actually tender your resignation and go and run Uda, in the party that Uda, you know, whatever. You, you, you know, you, 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 Rosa, you don't determine when I resign when I'll become a member of parliament. Exactly. I'm an elected member of parliament, and, and I'm fairly quite, 
quite quite able to, ma to make ticket. to yeah. make certain decisions and useful decisions. For now, I'm Jubilee Member of Parliament under the law, Kandara Member of Parliament, with the mandate of Kandara people, not Jubilee as a party. And come 2022. And come but 2022, uh, the law will guide us how you move from one party to the other. Okay. And, and indeed, mm -hmm. and indeed, Buda is actually PDR, a former PDR, and PDR is an affiliate of Jubilee, not an affiliate of ODM. So, so I don't know, Piripiri ambaye siyo yako kwa nini? So, I mean, you are talking yeah. about ODM and yeah. it's in Amolo because we are in so, a discussion, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. But you know, when- C can, I t can I take another break? I'll mind? just hold on before you ah. take this break, uh, because I mean, we are leaders and we're supposed to make this country better, isn't it? Correct. This country, the political scene, will only be made better if we as politicians actually practice discipline. But there's a lot of indiscipline amongst politicians. And you actually quote the law when it suits you. When it doesn't suit you, you go against that law. It is against our election law that a member of parliament can be elected on a party ticket. For example, Honorable Wahome is elected on a Jubilee ticket to represent the people of Kandara. Because they knew and they thought that the policies of Jubilee was very, uh, was effective for them. So they chose Honorable Alice Wahome on the Jubilee ticket because of Jubilee policies. As soon as she decides that it's not working here, that it could work better in UDA, and she's following the law, because she's talking about law, yeah, the yeah. best thing or what the law would expect, the spirit of the law would be resign and seek another mandate on the UDA ticket. But because we are politicians mm. and we, we, we are so indisciplined and we choose when to follow the law and when not to follow the law because you are hearing us cite so much about law and BBI. What about discipline? In, you know, you know, you know, right. who, you know, who is talking? You know, maybe we can learn yeah. something from the Tanzanians here. Oh, maybe, yes, maybe definitely. we can learn something, hopefully, one day. Th these people are pretenders to the, to the seat. Ooh. The presidency. Okay, Which one? This bench. These people. Let us and, pretend and, yeah. to go to a break. Yeah. <laughs> and they are in ODM. They are in opposition. So no, what is she talking about? We are in ODM and are strongly and firmly in ODM. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs>